The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, uh, looking good, Billy Ray. Feeling good, Lewis. Uh, the old alarm clocks here in Tucson, Arizona, started ringing the bells at 1.30 this morning, folks. I uh, never heard so much commotion because uh, we made new lows in the NASDAQ from way back in May. And we hit a big number in the S&P, and we hit a big number in the Dow Jones. The Dow Jones only made a 78% level, and it's rallied 600 points. So... That's a part of the reason for the volatility that's going on in the market. Uh, the key is that we can't go below those lows anymore, folks, because if we do, and if we do, be careful. Now, the first chart of the day is the one that we've been waiting for for at least three weeks. You'll notice this is the gold chart. We've got the ABCDs in there. You can see them quite easily. And uh, you'll notice we have another ABCD that came off of the 382. If you remember when we got to 2014, that was the first sign there was something wrong in the bull market. It couldn't rally any more than the 382 off of a beautiful 618 number. And that set up the ABCD that comes down to 1910 today or 1911. We were trying to buy it at 1911 with a $10 stop. If you happen to be in that, I'd lower your stop to uh, under the low today for to put your stop at 07. So you only have to risk $300. People ask me all the time, how do I figure out what the risk is, folks? I, I do ABCDs. Uh, you know, they're simple. They're based on what Ben Mandelbrot talked about, you know, uh, the, the fractals. Uh, Gartley was the first one to talk about it with ABCD, but he didn't describe ABCD as a fractal. He didn't know what fractals were. We didn't know what fractals were until 1978 when Mandelbrot wrote his book. So that that's part of the problem. You know, I think if – well, I'm not going to get into that a quagmire layer. Let's move on to the next one. I think I got this thing working today, folks. I hope I do anyway. But as you can see here, this is a absolute perfect pattern. You can't get it any better than that. It really can't. And so I don't know whether it's going to work or not. I don't know in any of these whether they're going to work or not. All I know is sometimes, you know, uh, it's, hey, look, let me ask you a question. I mean, people say, why are you waiting to buy the gold at 19, you know, 1911? Well, I didn't want to buy it at 2014. That's $10,000 ago, and I don't want to risk that much, okay? So that's what we're paying attention to here today. So let's get on here, and we want to get another chart up here to talk about some of these others because of another one that everybody was absolutely gaga goo goo about. And we were warning about this one, too. So hold on one second, and I will get this one up, and you'll be able to bring it up to your attention here. And that one is, uh, uh oh, just a minute here. There we go. And I hope that the crude oil chart, and there it is right there. Now, the only difference between uh, the gold chart and the crude oil chart is that one of them has a blue line and the other one has a red line. That's about the only difference. You can see the ABCD. We're not even close to it yet. Folks, we've dropped from $130 a barrel to $92 a barrel, $93 a barrel in just under about six days. Now, this does not have anything to do with the war, in my opinion. This has to do with the sanctions that are going to come off of Iran. And Iran's going to have the number going, you know that? And that's it. Uh, you know, that, that's basically the bottom line. I mean, you know, it, it, we're going to have to buy oil from somewhere. So if we don't buy it from Russia, we're going to have to buy it from Iran. But we're, we're being held up a little bit. But this will all be, this will all be taken care of. And you'll notice here that this big ABC takes us down to where we were a month ago, folks, down at $90 a barrel. And at that time, you know, we were talking about it in the newsletter. We're going to go over $100 a barrel because that's what the price objective meant to. And this, we get up to that big, uh, big expansion that we had up there at 130. You remember that we talked about heating oil, and how far it was out of uh, the standard deviations. It was at three standard deviations. What did it do? If you want to see a bearish chart? Go look at heating oil, folks. Uh, the fact is, I've got that chart up here. I could probably show you. Well, I can show you. Since we're talking about heating oil, let's just do that right now, so we can all learn a little lesson about how some of these things move. And you're going to be, uh, hold on one second here, I'll get this up here, screen, 
change windows. I got to hit this. Then I hit go live. At least I got this thing figured out. You can see the big A, B, C, D, and the heating oil up there at the top. Okay. Now, look where it went, folks. I mean, straight down, we had 1382 retracement. And heating oil is off the bottom of that chart, folks. I haven't updated this for three days. So that's, that's just telling you what it is. Folks, I look at patterns. The patterns are a roadmap of what I think is going to happen. Do they happen all the time? Heaven forsakes, no. But they happen most of the time, and you can profit from it if you understand what the, What do you mean you, there's no charts? Don't tell me this. Let me try this again. Change windows. Okay, let's try it again. Okay. Okay, Mr. White Shark, pay your bills, buddy. You got to pay your bills to see the chart. I don't know why you didn't get it, Sharky, but uh, it's up there, pal. Anyway, that's uh, that's the main thing to uh, take a look at that, okay? All right. Oh, by the way, we have a big treat today. One of our listeners for TFNN is in town from uh, Seattle, uh, Spokane, Washington, and he has taken Sarah and I out to dinner, and he's heard about our Mexican restaurant, Guadalajara, so much that that's what we're going to use today. Okay. Oh, it's tomorrow, not today. Thank you very much. My, my CEO over there told me that it was tomorrow. All right, let's move on here. By the way, anytime you come into Tucson and want to buy my lunch, we are available. Hold on, let's get on to a couple others here that really need. Here's part of the part of the news last night, folks. Very important, and we mentioned this yesterday on the show. This is about the uh, old hang saying. We'll get it up here. What people? Uh, let me get this up here. There we go. There's the there's the number on the hang saying. Now, folks. What you have to look at, look at that Hang Seng chart closely, because I sent a special uh, video out to the, our Hang, Hang Seng students last night, because down there around just under 19,000, 18,500 was a big ABCD on the monthly chart. So my assumption was that uh, <laughs> uh, if if uh, if they ever get to this level, that be really, really careful, because if we melt down, see, we were down 5%. Uh, on Monday, down four, three and a half, four percent on Tuesday. If we're down big on Wednesday, oh boy, look out! There's going to be some big things going on. I, you know, I've been doing this for a long time, folks, and I've never seen. And the, the part of this is because of the volatility. I've never seen so much news out there that causes volatility. We've got COVID, we've got uh, the Russian thing, uh, the Ukraine thing, we got the China thing, we got the sanctions. We got inflation. I mean, everything is out there all at one time. And boy, and then you wonder why I don't look at fundamentals. Give me a break. There's your answer right there. You know, that's basically it. I think I told this story before, but when I was in, we're just learning this stuff back in, in Indiana with my college professor that, uh, you know, taught statistics and, and business uh, management and stuff, uh, you know, he had a parrot, Oscar, and uh the only reason he had the Wall Street Journal was for the bottom of the parrot cage. And we used to, when I went in to visit him, I, I would say, why are you using the Wall Street Journal? He said, that's the only thing it's good for, because he was a technician, and that was the name of the game, and I've been doing it ever since. Hey, we'll be right back, boys and girls, 877-927-6648. Hopefully, oops, let's get back here today. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors.
What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text, either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, we're back, folks. Hopefully my guest today is going to be Stan Harley of the Harley Stock Market Letter. Tomorrow we're going to have Jeff Huge of Alpha Insights. On Thursday we're going to have uh, the Wolfman himself, the Wolf Trader, Shane Smolian on the air. So we'll have a pretty good week this week. Uh, Friday's still open. I'm still trying to get Joe DiNapoli, but it's a little tough. I posted the chart of the E-mini S&P, folks, uh, the daily chart. This is uh, I've drawn in the ABC. As you can see, there's a giant cluster down there just under 4,000. Uh, we, we took out the lows of the previous day by uh, about 10 points last night, and that brought in this 60, 70, 80-point rally. But, you know, we've seen these before. That doesn't affect the... Uh, the, the patterns on this. The only thing that would affect that, if we got above 43.50 uh, in the uh, S&P today, uh, that would certainly be a game changer in saying that, woo, we've missed some uh, big ABCDs down here. But right now, they still look like they're, they're lining up to uh, get to that number. And remember, it's all based on probability. There's nothing, you know, in there about certainty. That's uh, the main thing. Okay, since we're talking about uh, ha uh, Alibaba, let me get this up here because I was watching Alibaba last night, and I wanted to bring – I had a whole bunch of charts here that I wanted to share with you today uh, because uh, just to showing you some, some of the things that's what's happening. If you remember, it was about a month and a half ago – that uh, Charlie Munger came out with his buy of the century or something like that, which was Alibaba at uh, 120. And uh, you, you can see Alibaba traded uh, substantially under $70 last night. I don't know if that is, in fact, the, uh, the reasoning, uh, you know, for part of the Hang Seng being down so much, but I, I assumed that it would be. But uh, th th there's nothing. Hey, th listen, Charlie Munger's one smart puppy. You can you can bet your sweet bippy that he's not on the down. Well, he could be. What do I know? But he's a smart guy. And believe me, when you read the Buffett reports, what they say and what they do are totally different things. I had a beautiful chart from 1996 when the Buffett was very heavily long silver. It went from uh, four dollars to seven dollars, I believe, at that time. And uh, it was uh, he, he had mentioned in the report that uh, Berkshire Hathaway had 20 percent of the above ground silver available, uh, whatever that meant. OK, there's no way to calculate that or where he kept it. You know, it's a lot of silver. And anyway, uh, from seven dollars to four dollars. And, and then that was in two months. And when the report came out the following quarter, 
they had zero amount of silver in their inventory as part of their assets. So what they say and what they do is a little different thing. That's the good thing about the charts that we look at, folks. They do do one thing. They keep you honest because they can lie to you, give you misinformation, cheat you, do everything they can to fool you, but they can't hide. And the hiding is when they're buying, prices are going up, and we're selling, prices are going down. Now, someone's asked a question about the nickel exchange. Folks, this, the LME, the London Metals Exchange, is owned by the Shanghai market, the Shanghai, mar the Shanghai exchange. The Shanghai exchange is owned by China. So China is controlling that. They change the rules anytime they want to, and they do that in the United States too. Not very often, but they do. They did this in 1980 to the Hunt Brothers. And the Hunt brothers and the Arabs were together trying to corner the silver market, and uh, all they did was change the rules. They only did a simple thing. They, re they, the first thing they did, they, re they made everybody that was putting a position on had to be liquidation only. In other words, if you were buying, you had to sell. Okay, <laughs> that that's basically it. So they they stopped all the buying. Where, where is it going to go? But down, right? Then what they did is they raised the margin by I think from 200 percent to 400 percent. The reason why several of the people that were on the show are on the uh, in the in, at the uh, board of, at the exchange, the exchange members that make the rules. Okay, they were short silver, so they had to protect themselves. So how did they do that? They changed the rules. Well, they went through a whole bunch of legal things, but they couldn't do anything about it, and the hunts lost a whole bunch of money, and the other guys came out okay. And that's basically, you know, how that works. So that's Alibaba. I've got some others in here that that I think are pretty interesting. Uh, someone mentioned uh, Robin Hood uh, a little bit earlier, but there was a couple others that I thought were uh, really interesting. This one is in the news just about all the time because uh, Kathy Wood runs uh, the ARC folks. And uh, here's another one that we want to get up here to take a look at it. Here again, if you look at ARC really closely, I didn't draw in the pattern. But you can see now it's making, I think you can see it here. I, I don't know if my, I don't know, does my mouth show right now? Uh, that's it. That you can, that, that there's a three drive bottom. There's a three drive bottom uh, fixing in here pretty soon. So, oh, that's good. I can do that. That's terrific. Hey, that's one good thing about this, Jacob. Thank you. <laughs> All right. So there, there's a there's drive one. There's drive two. Drive three is going to be down here somewhere. So she, that's going to be a bounce here pretty soon. I would think either that or it's going to totally melt down. But you can see here we had a really nice Gartley right in here. We had the nice little rally that led to a one three five pattern and bada bing, bada boom, down it went. There was your three eight two retracement. What else can you ask for? Mother God and country. All right, next thing we're going to do is we're going to pull up another one of these puppies that everybody's watching all the time. Oh, hey, here's a buy recommendation, boys and girls. This is gonna be as easy as it gets. And I don't like I don't know anything about stocks. All I know about is patterns and boy, we've got a big, big big one right here in none other than the LFA Sabuka. Look at this. From here to here is exactly 786. And from the the opening, when this thing came out and the opening low was around 24 bucks, 61%. Can you believe that? 60, they're both together right here at 61% at 186 or whatever it closed at last night. You know, your risk there is about four bucks on $180 stock. So uh, you know <laughs> Had certainly, had, and let me ask you a question. It's certainly better to buy it here than to buy it there. That's uh, that's the bottom line. But that one just jumped out at me that it was, uh, you know, pretty much spot on uh, hitting these numbers, you know, really, really good. There's a whole bunch of others. If you remember, oh, here's another one. Here's another one. I, I don't do these uh, stocks very often, but uh, I'm going to be doing the Tom O'Brien show uh, today at uh, 3 p.m. New York time, and I'm going to go over a bunch of these stocks because they uh, – they have, a, they have some great patterns, and that's basically what I'm trying to do is to share with you what these patterns. This belongs with the crypto crowd too, folks. This is a Coinbase. You'll see here we had a, a beautiful – first one was a 382 retracement here. You can see the ABCD. Then we come down, make an ABCD right up here. And look, A, B, C, D, all coming down together. Right in here, we got a whole bunch of them just a little bit lower here. About uh, it looks about fifteen dollars lower. You got to take a look at it there because that's a one point six one eight expansion, and it's an ABCD, and it's going to be a three drive to a bottom pattern. That's everything you want. Look at this three eight two retracement here, folks. High, boom, three eight two, boom. 
Folks, if you want to change your life and reduce all your strife, take a look at the one that will make your wife happy, and that's 382. Just get ready and learn how to do those. And, uh, well, I guess my next comment will be uh, <laughs> not taken the wrong way, so I'm not going to make it. we got a break coming up here, and hopefully cross our fingers that we've got Stan Harley up. I know uh, there's a lot of things happening, so we might miss him, but we'll hopefully we'll have him. 877-927-6648. If you have any uh, questions, uh, we'll be right back. fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the tiger's den trading room only at tfnn.com the tiger's den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charted software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, we're back, folks, and with a little bit of luck, I hope we have Stan Harley on the line of the Harley Stock Market Letter. Stan, are you there? Hello, Larry. I am indeed. How are you doing? Well, we're good. Uh, listen, I've been able to post your three charts in. We're going to start out today with your 34-week uh, cycle. You want to tell the folks what you're looking at? A absolutely. Um, Larry, this is kind of my bread and butter cycle. Uh, years ago, I noticed the market had a propensity to make lows approximately every 34 weeks, eight months on average. That cycle expands and contracts over time. I wrote a, a lengthy paper on it, 
which was published in the uh, in the July issue of the Journal for the Foundation for the Study of Cycles last year. Uh, and I went back and, and looked at this cycle over decades. And it's a very, very reliable heartbeat in the market. Nominally spans right at 34 weeks, eight months, both numbers are Fibonacci numbers. So uh -huh. no, no surprise there. And as one can see on the screen, uh, you'd see how regular this has been. Uh, in the prior occurrence, the cycle expanded by a Fibonacci 1.236. The most recent occurrence has contracted to 0.764. Not to get too heavy in the math, but you add those two numbers together and you get 2.00. And that's what cycles do. When, uh, when one cycle expands, the next one contracts, it brings it back to its regular heartbeat. So uh, my work suggests we're right there at a low. And I okay, think well. uh, we're, we're slowly gaining some traction here, and, uh, and the popular averages are going to start pushing steadily higher. Well, let's take a look at the next one, of folks, here, which is the uh, – hold on, we'll get this up here so you'll be able to see it here. This one is the uh, your trading cycle. Uh, you want to tell the folks what you're looking at on this one? Yeah. This is a little bit different, isn't it? A little bit different. Yeah, a little shorter time span. Okay. Um, this is not the same cycle. This is another cycle. And it averages about 120 trading days, roughly 25 weeks. And look how well this cycle has defined major lows in the S&P 500 going back the last four years. One time... It marked a high, not a low. That was the high we saw back on September the 2nd of last year. Um, every other recurrence has marked an important low. And I've done a detailed regression analysis to the data series. It's right at 124, 24 <coughs> trading days. Tell and uh, the, the low show. we saw here just recently marked the latest recurrence in that cycle. So the takeaway here, Larry, is we have two dominant cycles in the stock market. One is 34 weeks, the other one is about 25 weeks. They both are bottoming right in here. That tells me the market is making a low, and obviously if you've got a low, prices should trend higher. Wow, this next one is, uh, I don't follow this, but it's really, it, it really leads credence to what you just said and the way the market's acting. This is your, uh, new highs to new lows. You want to tell the folks about the divergence that you're looking at here? Yes. Uh, I try to take a, a peek beneath the hood, so to speak. Uh -huh. uh, a lot of data can be gleaned by looking at advances and declines on the New York Stock Exchange. This is not price-based, it's unit-based. Uh -huh. This information is published every single day. We know the number of advancing issues. We know the number of declining issues. I dump this into a spreadsheet set up a couple, several columns, I subtract those two numbers, and then I plot a 10-day and a 30-day moving average of that data. And this is what we get on the graph. And here's where it gets very, very interesting, Larry. Notice uh, at the end of January, right around the 27th of January, the 10-day component made a extreme low. On February the 24th, a month later, when the popular averages were plunging to new lows, look at the 10-day component. It was higher, and it's oh. even higher now. <laughs> wow. That's what a... is that telling me? It telling me? It's telling me that even though prices have gone down, the selling pressure is drying up. The 10-day and the 30-day component of advances and declines is rising. That tells me the market is pushing upward here, or poised to push upward. Well, Bottom line just, is, uh, I think you have to be bullish here, Larry. That's what the well, data is telling certainly me. Certainly acting bullish. The action last night at 1.30 in the morning, it was setting right on its low. We were taking out the lows of May in the NASDAQ, and you can see what's happened there. And we made a couple of Fibonacci retracements in the New York Stock Exchange, or the Dow Jones, and then also in the S&P, and we've just been skyrocketing. Stan, I would like to ask you a favor. I have to do, or I don't have to, but I get to do the show for Tom O'Brien today at uh, 3 o'clock. Would you be able to come on at 3.30 for a few minutes? And It's a totally different group of people, and uh, would you be interested in maybe doing that show with me today? We have time? 
Absolutely. It would be my pleasure. Okay, we'll see you at 3.30. We're going to go over the same charts and let the folks uh, you know, look at them again. But these are very important, and I think that uh, you're spot on here. It looked like a bottom was made to me, and uh, at least we've had one heck of a rally. We're up 700 points already in the uh, in the Dow Jones from the low, so, well, 650 points. So that, that in itself is a huge rally. So we'll see you at 3.30. How's that? Okay. We'll see you hey, thanks Thank for you. joining us, Stan. We really appreciate it, folks. Stan Harley, the Harley Stock Market Letter. And we'll see you at 3.30, Stan, all right? Okay. All right, folks, let's move on here. We've got a couple of the other these charts that we wanted to go over with you just to – uh-oh, did this one wrong. Hold on one second, boys and girls. Let's get this one up. Uh, we had one here that we were talking about a long time ago, but uh, we ought to revisit it. We had a caller calling in uh, about this stock when it was uh, making a high. And we'll get this up. It's a ZS. I never could remember the name of the stock, but as you can see, we had that giant ABCD up there at 320. That's where the, the ABCD came in. Well, the stock went to 360. Well, it's now trading half the price at 187. The key here is you can see the first little Gartley there. There's the first Gartley that happened. There's your X, A, B, C, D. I do like this mouse because I can show you to look it up. But here's the key. This is the key one right here. Have some fun, folks. Do this yourself. A, B, C, D. Take a guess what this ratio was. I'm going to let Batman tell you that one. Take a look at that. There's a 1, 3, 5 pattern, perfectly symmetrical, high to high to high, ratio to ratio, ratio to ratio. Mother God and country. you got to give it a shot. That's all I can tell you. Okay, now let's move on. To, I've got a couple others here that are really interesting because we learn from these. And, and I had, I'm not saying when I show these things and things go down and people buy it and stuff, hey, I'm not knocking on anybody's door. I'm just trying to show you the harmonics of it. That's one. Here's one that we had with our, our good friend Bo. He was uh, heavily involved in Nike. And here's a, here's a perfect example of the news and how sometimes it works. And you, wanna, you have a really good news and the market doesn't uh, take advantage of it. Boy, get out of the way. Look at Nike here, folks. This was the this was the three this was the one three five pattern here. One three five. Perfectly symmetrical. The market comes down. This was the most bullish news Nike ever had. Everybody in China was going to have five pairs of shoes. Unfortunately, that news dissipated, and you can see we dropped all the way down here. So somewhere in here, you gotta put a stop if you're long. Shut the front door and raise the rent. We'll be right back. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate L. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. 
TFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. To Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, uh, someone asked me, you know, what happened when the alerts went off at 1.30 this morning? Uh, here's what happened. You, there, as you can see, the uh, there's 1.30 in the morning right there. Uh, and that, that's my time. So that was 3.30 in the morning and uh, uh, 4.30 in the morning for you guys in New York. Anyway, look, and you, I see the ABCD there, but here was the key right here. If you notice over here, this was the 78% retracement of the low we made back on the 8th, oh, and that was the 8th of March, okay? Uh, 20, excuse me, the 22nd of February. Okay, that was that was a 786 of that whole move. Now, the, the S&P 500 took out that low by just a few points, and the NASDAQ took out the low from way back in May by just a few points. That's why all the beepers were going off at once. Because when those were hit, that was telling me that, wow, something really important had happened. As you can see, we've we've had a straight-up move. We've already made the 61% retracement of two days ago. And that in itself is a is a very bullish sign where you know, there's that number right there. And so I'm expecting that it's most probably going to be going uh, uh, at that thing to, uh, you'll see, right at the 61. We're probably going to go higher than How much higher? I don't know. We're overbought now on a short-term basis. But you have to respect Stan's work, work too, folks. I mean, when you see a divergences like that in the high, uh, new highs to new lows, uh, that, that in itself is also very important. So let's uh, let's remind ourselves that uh, these markets don't go one way. That's Well, they do in certain markets, but, but not all of them. Okay, now let's get back to where we are here. We want to look at a couple others here that we'll be able to take a quick look at here. Let me get over here one second. I covered that. I've covered the Hang Seng and uh, Facebook. Oh, here's one. Wanted to show you this is one that was on our watch list because uh, the whole world liked this at one time. It was in the news just about all the time. And of course, now it's a uh, it's a little, it's been priced at a little bit cheaper price. This is a Palantir. <clears throat> You'll notice here we had this big spike high up in here. Uh, you made a you know large ABCD up into that in the area around 28, 29. We came down. Look at this, folks. You like 382s? Look at this. 382, make a slightly higher high ABCD at the 382, and boom, there's your ABCD. So if you want to buy Palantir, you buy it now <clears throat> because you're setting right near the 1.27 expansion of that whole move and it's a completed a b c d move so your risk here is really really very small so that's another one that you know does it's amount it's amount of money that you have to risk on these things folks that's the bottom line you know that's the main thing now so <laughs> someone asked me a question that am i disappointed in the price action in gold today folks give me a break here hold on a second let me get this up here I want to show you something. This is the one we were looking at from this morning. All right, get the windows, get up here, right here. All right, there, there's the gold chart, folks. I measure this thing to 1910 to 1911. 1910 was the number. I shaded it by a dollar just so I'd be sure that I would be able to get in, and it went to 1911, but it also went down to 1908.80. It went a dollar twenty. 
a dollar twenty on an instrument that sells for a hundred and ninety thousand dollars if you bought it for cash, and you're talking about a dollar twenty. When I give you these A, B, C, D numbers, the D is where it should stop. That doesn't mean it's going to stop. You have to determine what your risk is. Everything I do with the the trade, what you see, everything is based with the risk between minimum of about three hundred dollars, maximum of about eight or nine hundred dollars. That's it for crude oil and for gold. But all the others can be handled for around five hundred dollars or less. The, the the stock indexes, with the exception of the Nasdaq, where you've got to use a thousand dollar stop, you can trade the S and P for fifteen handles. That's seven hundred fifty points. That's certainly uh, that's certainly acceptable. So that that's why you have to do this, folks. I'm trying to, you know, I'm actually trying to teach you a little bit so that, you know, someday you can come up and look at this and say, oh, I see what he's doing. I don't need him anymore. That would make me happy because then you can do it on your own. And that's the whole reason for, you know, doing what I do is to get people to, to learn to do it themselves because it's certainly not that, it's not that hard. I wanted to show you here one other thing that, uh, that it makes it easier. This is from Bloomberg today, early this morning. And oh dear, hold on one second here. That's what I wanted to see. Good, good boy, good boy. Hold on one second here. Let me get this up here. <laughs> All right, let's get up here and uh, move up here and uh, get this chart in here. And we'd be ready to go. This is going to be interesting because for two reasons. Highlighted on Bloomberg today, you can see here they talked about this. You know, this is the death of the. You know, it's breaking below all this stuff. But, folks, all we're making here, if you look at it closely, we're making this real nice A, B, C, D right in this area right here. So as long as it can hold 18,000. And, uh, you know, we traded at 20,000 on Monday. We got down to 18,000. We rallied back a little bit. If we can stay above 18,000 here, this has got a chance to be a big A, B, C, D pattern. Maybe all these markets are going to change. I don't know. But they're certainly acting strong today. You've got to, I know part of it is because they're so very oversold, which I understand. But uh, that might be a major bottom. And so far for today, it is certainly a major bottom. There's no, uh, no, no question about it. It's uh, right in there where you want to pay, uh, pay close attention to it. That's uh, what I would be watching anyway as I'm following these things here this morning. Okay, now let's move on to the next one here. Get this up here to uh, take a little bit of uh, time off. Hold on a second. I got to get the next chart up that I wanted to share with you. <clears throat> that is the Bitcoin chart. And I, this is a repeat of what I've looked at, but it's still right in the ballpark. I really believe that we're going to have a, a pretty good sell-off here eventually in the next uh, three or four weeks. I think this low that we have in uh, Bitcoin is going to be taken out. That's a 382 retracement again, that red arrow. And we've talked about that. Many, many times here over the past uh, years. <laughs> anyway, you'll, you'll see here that's a 382 retracement where that red arrow comes in. It missed it by about $500. And now it's anything below 36000 now is going to trigger this move to an ABCD down. And it goes all the way down to about 19000 believe it or not. It, Bitcoin can go to 19000 and a friend of mine, a little bird, told me that if it gets to 19,000, consider that as Christmas Day, and buy it because from 19,000 he thought it would go to 100,000. So that's my two cents worth for the bird and the bird on the fly. So we'll look at that. Okay. Oh, it says uh, something said about the South uh, as cycles. I, you know, I don't know very, David. I don't know anything about cryptos. I, you know, I know basically that they're an inflation edge, and uh, that type of thing. And I understand the difference between a coin and a token, but I don't know. I mean, there's thousands of them, and I, I've never traded them, and I don't, I don't plan on doing it. But uh, I, I know they're important, and so you've got to pay uh, close attention to them just because of that. But uh, that, that's the main thing to, uh, to remind ourselves that that's some of the things that we want to keep our mind on. The main thing today is watch the gold today, folks. If we close below, uh, you know, if we close below 1910 today, uh, I would be out of the trade. In fact, I've, I've raised my stop to 1910. Now it's trading at 16 or something. I don't know. But I don't have to risk very much. Now, the fact that it hit that number and didn't go straight down tells me it may or may not work. That's the bottom line. We're going to take a break here, folks. 877-927-6648.
Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year, or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested, or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Okay, folks, I've been asked to put up the chart of the hourly crude oil chart that I did earlier in the show to try to explain it better. Folks, I use an hourly chart because you can see here you can cover five or six days. That gives you the basic patterns. And the ones that we're looking at, of course, are ABCDs. And then when we have retracements, especially the 3A2. What intrigued me about this is the news was so very, very bullish in here. And as you can see, over the next several days, it went from 130. Uh, all the way down to about uh, 112 and then it rallied up to this level right here which was 117 and then from 117 that told you that that was the 382 retracement well the first sign that a bull market is making a, either a major top or a significant correction is to do that 382 retracement we did the same thing in the gold market at at 2014 high was uh, on that rally was 2015 within a dollar so that's all. Now, all looking at now is I'm watching to see if crude oil can get down to this level right here, which is below $90 a barrel. And we could certainly do that because if Iran, you know, whatever the fundamentals are, if the Iran comes out and what will happen is, you know, Russia will, well, who knows what's going to happen. But by then, the news will be very, very bearish and nobody will want to buy it. And guess what? That's when you probably should buy the crude oils when it gets down to that level right there. So that's all I'm doing when I'm watching these charts. I'm looking at ABCD. That's the best thing I've ever found. Been doing it for years. It's very simple. You just have to practice it and realize it doesn't work all the time, but it works most of the time. And that's what you're really trying to look at. The other chart that is uh, incredibly important is the fact that we had this move here in the E-mini S&P last night. You can see where we are. But when I posted that this morning here, it was trading at the 41.60, and we are 100 handles 
above that already. You can see here that's uh, where we are. So uh, you, you make some type of retracement here, but these, these are still valid. In order for this to not be valid, we've got to get above this level right here, which we may do that. But if we get above this level right here, this would sort of break this this trend line, this one three five pattern. If it did this, broke that trend line to the upside, you say, well, this is a major bottom and we might go higher. We'll see you on the flip side tomorrow, folks. I'll be doing Tom O'Brien's show at uh, three o'clock and may God bless. Thank you.